This video is due in about four hours, and this is me starting it. Ladies and gentlemen, what I found here is a four-page comic. I could do it better now. Hello, I'm the Cartooner. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I talk about comics and making them and all the fun times that comes with it. Here I'm finishing off the little mini comic zine that I started off a couple weeks ago. Finishing up some of the pencils, marking out the panels. A process that's really kind of tedious and yet also one of my favorite parts of making comics. Measuring like a couple millimeters at a time. <laughs> Trying to make sure all these panels are perfectly square and the lines are perfectly straight. They don't need to be. It's not important. Well, I, it's but it's it's kind of important to me. But it all, but it's also, it's fun. That's is that, that's what I'm saying. Here I'm marking out some of the buildings for downtown. See now here I'm not too worried about straight lines. Here I am I am just gonna I'm just knowing that well, the buildings need to be just generally facing like the same direction and look like they're going to about the same vanishing point and that'll be good enough. And you know. Yeah, I think I made the right call there. There's that explosion in the building that... I, I learned how to draw explosions like that years and years and years ago from a Mark Curley video. And I've been drawing explosions like it ever since. And I only recently kind of I feel like I figured out like how it actually works. Like the darker bits being like shadows and the lights being the, like the light from the explosion. I don't know why they didn't like... I, that, that didn't click in my head for a long time, but it, well, whatever. After I get done doing things like this, my neck and like my shoulders hurt so bad because I spent so much time hunched over looking at and counting. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six millimeters. All right, there we go. And then I'll put a mark there, line it up with the other mark that's about six millimeters. Realize I messed up and have to go back. It's a whole thing. Here I am finally drawing Jim Guy in that last panel, which last time I had left with just a stick figure because I just couldn't get it. And even now, I mean, he looks a little weird, right? I mean, his head's probably too big, but whatever. A lot of this is just that like, it's small. The line work needs to be clear and the positions and like the poses and everything need to be clear silhouettes. Part of making those clear silhouettes sometimes is having clear shapes within your figures. Sometimes it's just having plenty of contrast in your in your lights and your shadows. And now back at home, I was at, I was, I was out and about when I did that first part. Now back at home, <laughs> I start inking with this brush pen that I got a few weeks ago, months ago now. Love it. It's great. And you know, I, I think these inks are actually coming along all right. They're, they're shaky at points, but you know, it's all right. <laughs> I do use a micron pen to lay out the panels just because, I, like I said, I do want those nice and clean and straight. But then back to the brush to do everything else. Part of inking is also just fixing the pencils. So I had to fix the dinosaur's legs? The lizard? The Godzilla? Whatever that thing is, I don't know. I don't know why that building's exploding. <laughs> I, you know, there's that bit where the, the thing's tail is hitting. I don't know why the building's exploding. 
going in with a white pen, correcting some little parts, and here we are, finished inks. Not finished comic yet though, we still have a little bit more to go. After waiting about 24 hours, I went through and erased all the pencils, leaving plenty of time for all the ink to dry before now going back in with a pencil and shading things properly, really being trying to be careful about, you know, th things like staying in the lines, you know, literally elementary kind of stuff. <laughs> going real dark in some of the windows. Again, trying to be careful and conscious about different shapes and stuff. Well, with my goal to be not to m muddy things up. Which, you know, this panel here kind of runs at risk a little bit, but... And then using a blending stump, go in and kind of finish everything else. Little bits of shadow and whatnot, and things that aren't dark dark, but just need to be kind of hinted at. And here we are, inks done, shading done. I still should add some sort of like a title and I need to add my name on here yet, but I don't know, look at this. I think it came along all right. All right, and there we have it. Four pages of comics turned into this six pages, one piece of paper, inked, shaded, everything, and available for download right now at ko-fi.com slash the cartooner. Or is it coffee? Ko-fi? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Available for free there, just because I figured that's a place that I could host it, and I mean, if you want to donate anything, you're allowed to, but you're also not obligated to, so. I've also included the original comic there, all four pages of, well, uh, poorly inked, I didn't even do like the panel borders, but I, there are some original notes on there, but some of it's kind of hard to see because of the fact that it's pencil. <laughs> so feel free to download that, print it out, fold it up. The instructions are all on the back cover for how to do it. It's really easy. You fold it into eighths, cut a little bit of it, and kind of fold it back up, and then bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a little zine to read. For more cartoon and comics creation content, consider subscribing to the cartoon. <laughs> I'm trying to fit as many C words in there as I can. Cut. Either way, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.